So we're mixing this up there to pour that balcony now. And um, I had to put a, an extra half a sack of Portland in this to really strengthen this mix up high. Because um, I want that as strong as it can be up there between those two cantilever beams hanging out as a balcony up there. And away they go. I got a long ways to carry this too, but it's not a very big pour. So I just have to do a little walking back and forth with it. I have to carry it up and through the house, out the back doors and pass it up to the balcony up there. But we got plenty of time. It's only after the first break in the morning. It's about 1030 in the morning right now. They'll, they'll have it done here just shortly. They'll have it done before lunch. They're doing all the fine touches and forming the corners right now. Up here on the precast. It's looking so nice. Oh, y'all passing it right through the inside. Heck, that's even better. That's a better idea. Heck yeah. Got boxes set for two lights. These lights up here above these glass doors, I'm putting them way out to the front of the balcony here, the canopy that'll be made out onto the tops here because you know, light straw bugs. That'll put a lot of the light shining down on the handrails and stuff there, which that'll be nice. I want it strong up here on this little balcony out in between here. We put a lot of steel though. Um, got some 16 here on the edge. Got 16 out in the front and that little beam that forms. We got 16 out through the middle. We got 16 coming back across the other ways in here. And then the rest is all done in 12. Now that's in millimeters, you know. That's not like in the US, they'll say, you know, we got a number so and so bar and all that. It's just they're going by the millimeter size here. You'll buy an 8mm, you'll buy a 9mm, a 10, a 12, a 16, and going on up. You sure that form's strong in the front? I saw it move real easy up there just then. You sure it's strong? I hope so. That other one, I seen it move there when he put that bucket. Maybe it's just tightening the wire up. Just checking.
So it's almost lunch time here, but we can't stop a pour like this for an hour in the middle of it. So they are about two thirds of the way done. You must Yes. There's no pay raise. <laughs> If there's a new masoon, then we have to fire one masoon. <laughs> yeah. Final edition. <laughs> super hot day. Boy, it is a super hot day. And <laughs> I'm not working right now. They're doing a pour. So I shouldn't be complaining about nothing, you know. But I just feel sorry for them. It is just so hot. You can really feel summer coming on here in the Philippines. And the intensity of that sun. Oh, man. Well, they're almost done. They like maybe, maybe about 10, 15 more minutes. And that pour is done. They're staying a little late for lunch. Uh, during their lunch time. So their hour for lunch will just be a little delayed. Well, meanwhile... Um, I didn't want to start eating my lunch until I see them done. That's not fair. I come down here and I'm munching down. They're still working their butts off. But I just want to show uh, what we're having for lunch. We had a, a neighbor again. Sold us some crabs. They just caught this morning. Oh, it's nice. And Melinda... Uh, sliced us up some fresh cucumber and tomato with a little vinegar on it right there and then I had her to melt us up some butter and put calamansi in it we don't have lemon like in the US but we got calamansi and man it's good like that try it sometime substitute that calamansi in that melted butter with these crabs oh my goodness boy it's good super good but I'm gonna hold off and enjoy this after my guys are done working and we all take lunch at the same time pretty cool huh almost done if they got extra I just want to put it on top of those gabion cages Been in here working on this staircase, getting the steel all tied in on the underside of it. Everything's on a swooping curve. There's no two pieces the same anywhere. I've been, I've been working this around here to keep these flat, and on this side, this is going to form a little beam along on the stringer on the outside. Epoxy to all of those into the holes so the holes are turned downwards and then I filled them all with epoxy when I drove the steel in so there's no void. Now set up tight in there and chip all that skim coat off that beam right there, rough it up, and so it'll get a good bond. We'll take some of that two part epoxy after we chip that in this raw concrete 
put a little bit of epoxy on there as we get up to that pour right there at the top. We'll put it on right before the pour when it reaches the top there and then bond that together. I'm using these blocks for a spacer on the side here to make sure that we keep two inches of clear cover of concrete on the outside right there. That is badass. Maybe you need to maybe you need to take that form off, remove, you think? Take that off the front. It's gonna be easier for you to, to shape that. You think? Yes or no? Huh? Maybe, sir. Maybe. Plus, then you can see if that's, see, that's pushed out. You can get all that removed now while it's still wet. my favorite spot right here it's nice man it's just open right out here boy it's nice sniper tower <laughs> what is the end of another day and uh We've been just tying the steel, trying to make this curve down in here, tightening it up, adding more pieces. But we are getting it there, boy. For real, we're getting it there. I'm tired, they're tired. We uh been working as a team underneath here. Woo! But it is coming together. And let me tell you, that steel is strong in there right now, too. But you got a curve though, your space is gonna change. We're just tying in some um, random pieces to fill the wider gaps of where it spreads and makes that curve. But man, it is coming out nice, nice, nice. I've just arrived here, man. He brought me some Swister Sweet cigars that I requested. Them cheap but good little old cigars. Rent money from my renters back in the U.S. That's better than sending remittance cash from the other side of the world. And a gift that one of our subscribers back in the U.S. had got this at Rysinger's Country Store back in my hometown. And we have no clue what it is. And we're going to open this on video later. And he brought some pasta lubon for Melinda. Look at that. Because we were getting low. But I'm going to grab a cap of beer. And we're going to give him a tour of the house. And they want to go home and rest. And then me and him are going to visit more on another day. Yeah, my buddy made it. My buddy made it. <laughs> cheers, man. Oh, man, cheers. <laughs> Back to the Philippines. How long has it been? Two years, one month. Two years and three weeks. Two years and three weeks. Yeah. Wow. Well, you made it. I made it, man. I'm home. Honestly, I didn't expect to see you today. I really didn't. I said, man, y'all going to go on in. I wasn't worried about nothing, you know. Well, that's the envelope I wanted to get. Oh, I understand. I understand. Appreciate it. Well, let me give you a tour of this place, man. I'm going to turn this camera off. But everybody say hello to Cap. Welcome back to the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs>